Late last year, our town lost a favorite music venue, The Union, when a fire broke out in an adjoining business and took most of the block with it. Fortunately, nobody was injured, but a lot of musicians lost gear in the blaze. This strat was leaning against the wall in a gig bag, and it burned from the neck down to about the 14th fret area here. While the horn is pretty charred, and the guts were trashed from water damage, the guitar is overall intact. I touched up the finish as much as I could with super glue, cleaned up all the screws and hardware, and now I'm gonna put a new neck on it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Neck pockets can vary a little bit, so that's something to take into consideration when choosing a replacement. Since this is a fender body, I'm gonna go ahead and use a licensed neck to ensure a proper fit. They don't come with neck mounting holes drilled, so I'm gonna to have to make those match the holes that are already in the body. I'm using a cam clamp and a soft wooden call to temporarily hold the neck on. I've strung it up with low and high E strings so I can check the alignment. What I'm looking for is an even distance between the edge of the fretboard and the low E and the edge of the fretboard and the high E. You want those to be equal for proper alignment. Now it's time to mark out the neck holes. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but a real simple way is to find a drill bit that fits the hole in the body perfectly and just give it a little turn. And what that does is it scores the finish, kind of leaves a little dimple that you can use as a reference point when you go to drill the holes. I used a 1 8 drill bit to drill the holes in the heel. Now this neck is ready to mount. Before installing the neck, I'm gonna drag the screws across tap ease just a little bit. What this is is it's a thread lubricant that'll help drive the screws into the hard maple a little easier without any trouble. This thing's ready for strings. And after a good setup, it'll be ready to rock.